This edition of the Rhythm Report is brought to you by LibertyActivism.info In fighting for freedom, some approaches work, others suck. <laughs> LibertyActivism.info is a repository of your success stories. Tell us what works best for you and find out what has worked for others. LibertyActivism.info I'm standing here with Kevin Ennis from uh, the Liberty Dollar Organization, and you guys have launched a new effort that you're, you're doing some of this in New Hampshire to uh, try and uh, uh, spread the use of silver around the country. Tell me a little bit about that. There seems to be a lot of interest in money these days, what its value is and maybe what it, uh, there's a lack of value in it. Uh, so there's a number of people that are thinking of how, what can we do to support local businesses by using money that's got value within itself and continues to support businesses even after they have used it. One of the values of using a currency that is not being currently uh, used by the banks, they're just not set up for it, is that when you spend it at a small business, they can offer out as change to someone else, and they continue to use it around the community. So your one piece of uh, local currency can have far-reaching effects out into the community. And Liberty Dollar, by nature, tends to be local because people don't take it and put it in a bank. Well, that, that, that's one of the reasons, and also the systems for that currency moving outside of the area are not uh, currently uh, accepting those. But that's okay. Uh, like, typically banks and corporations who send their money outside of the area very often the, the same night as uh, they receive it from a customer. So what are you asking average individuals to do to help your, your project? Well, one of the biggest things is to show each of the participants and the business community in here in the area how much interest there is in supporting local already they realize that lo local small businesses put uh, eighty percent of their profit or higher back in the community and the groceries and the gas and entertainment that they spend and so by supporting them they're supporting the, the prosperity of the whole community so if you can uh, uh, people can sign up online with uh, their intent that yes I like the idea of supporting local by using local acting currency then we can present this very long set of email lists to, to uh, businesses not for them to keep but just uh, as an example here's all the people that would love to support you if you take their money yeah exactly so using silver and a customer list to get businesses to sign on with the idea of to accepting show, silver. That's right, to show yeah. how there's a groundswell for, of support for this idea, but there hasn't been the tools in use to help express that. All right. And is this being uh, uh, organized by the Liberty Dollar Organization? or Well, Alternative uh, Expo. Uh, Alt oh, Alt so it's sort of New England based then? It's very much uh, oh, okay. started here. Uh, Jack and New I uh, have been working on this, Jack Shimmick, okay. and I have been working on this idea. It's all in the inter interest of stre strengthening community and working in cooperation with other types of barter groups in the area as well, like New Hampshire Barter and ITEX New Hampshire. There's a number of different barter community uh, currencies as well. What's your title right now in the Liberty Dollar organization? I'm the national trainer for the Liberty Dollar. And but uh, I am a, a currency. I like to consider myself a currency alternative currency trainer. So it's not only about Liberty Dollar. It's about the American Open Currency Standard. It's Shire Hours, other systems that can help to by working together expand the reach of these other forms of transactions uh, farther and wider. Of course, and when you use this currency, you're you're not uh, financing wars. Yeah, typically those um, businesses that uh, finance wars are using other types of currency like that which is created out of nothing by the Federal Reserve. Yeah. So uh, this stays very much local. And But there we're building up systems such as the, what the, the Lakota Bank idea is doing, accepting only a particular currency that they feel rises to the standard of something supporting the people. All right. Kevin from Liberty Dollar, thanks for your time. Thank you. This edition of the Rhythm Report is brought to you by LibertyActivism.info.